Hello friends! If you installed Windows on your Steam Deck and you noticed your buttons aren't responding, this is how to fix it. If you haven't installed Windows on your Deck yet and you're interested in doing so, check out my tutorial, I'll link it down below. Basically, you need to have software that maps out the physical hardware and translates it into controller input. Most software that does this will run an overlay over your Windows desktop and actively translates those inputs for you, but if the overlay doesn't launch properly or doesn't overlap your game, this problem is going to occur. Today we're going to be using Glossy to fix the problem. I'm going to be using Genshin Impact as an example for this video. Here's the steps to fix it. So, step one, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're always, always running Steam in administrator mode. You can do this manually by right-clicking and hitting run as administrator, or you can go over to properties, compatibility, and then make sure that run this program as administrator is checkmarked and apply that. I've heard a few people say that running it through the compatibility layer isn't always functional. I don't have an answer for that. If that happens to you, just run it manually as administrator. So the next thing we need to do is properly add Genshin to our Steam library. So we're going to go over to Games, add a non-Steam game to my library, and we're actually just going to browse instead. The reason why is because the Genshin that shows up here as a program, it's actually the launcher and not the actual EXE, and we need to have the EXE. So we're going to hit Browse. So we're going to go and find our Genshin Impact install. As you can see, it's here on my SD card. I'm going to go Program Files, Genshin Impact. So this is the launcher. Um, you don't want to add the launcher. This is super important. You have to go to Genshin Impact Game and then add GenshinImpact.exe. The reason why is because if you add the launcher on accident, when it launches the actual game, it will close the overlay. So you need to make sure that the overlay is running on the actual EXE for the game itself. So you're going to hit Add Selected Programs. So the next step is we're going to install Glossy. So basically the software runs an overlay over your games and over your desktop, and the overlay will take your hardware inputs from your Steam Deck and translate them into an Xbox 360 controller map. So basically as long as you have this running, it will make the game think that you have an Xbox 360 controller plugged in, and it'll go based off of those. Well, right now I'm looking at the GitHub page, but the Glossy website is separate. I'm going to have this in the description below. And just download the installer since you're on Windows. Then we're going to run the installer. You will need to make sure that these components are installed. If you don't already have these drivers installed, which you likely don't, you're going to need to go ahead and install them with the program. So when you start to set up the installation, it will pop up additional installation menus for those drivers. So you need to make sure that you set up everything, let it froze at you, otherwise it's not going to work. Alright, so now that we've installed Glossy, we're going to go ahead over to where it's installed. The program files it should be in regular program files, Glossy. And then we're going to run glossyconfig.exe. Don't touch the other ones, just this one. Alright, so we're going to make sure that Steam is running. We're going to go over and we're going to open Glossy Config. So this is what the config screen looks like. This is what you're going to need to do every single time that you get a new game. So you have your settings button right here. We can just leave that alone for now, unless there's something specific you want to do, such as adding a Steam Grid to your games. So we're going to hit the plus button in the corner to make a shortcut. I have a few options here. Um, if you don't have instructions to specifically use one of these, you're ever going to want to add manually or hit Win32 Program. That's what I'm going to do. Go over to Program Files, Genshin Impact, and like I said, do not add the launcher. Add the actual EXE. That way the overlay applies to the literal game itself, otherwise it's just going to apply to the launcher and it's going to close once the actual game opens and you're not going to have any inputs at all. Launch arguments, we're going to ignore that. Okay, so for the settings, we're going to scroll down. going to make sure that use real device USB IDs is checkmarked. And you're going to go over here. If your max emulated controllers is 1, that's fine. You can leave it at that, but just make sure the value is 1. And then we're going to save. Okay, so this is super important. Before you close this, you need to hit the Steam icon. So you need to make sure that this is highlighted. If not, you need to click it. And then we're going to reopen Steam as administrator. Okay. Now that we have that going, I'm going to go over to Genshin Impact, hit play. And as you can see, the glossy pop-up is here. If it's not showing up, uh, don't panic just yet. You may need to double check that glossy is associated with the program. 
Alright, so you're gonna notice that the game won't work immediately. That's normal. It's because we have one more step to do. So you're gonna go tap the top left corner for options. Go to settings. And you see the problem right here. Underneath controls, the control type is set to keyboard. You need to go and set it to controller. That way it accepts the Xbox 360 input. As you can see, and you could probably hear me using my Steam Deck, it is now accepting controller input. And there you go, that's all you need to do. So if a program is being finicky, um, first of all, always make sure that Glossy is associated with the program properly, and just double check that you've applied it to Steam. If that doesn't work, double, triple check that Steam is running in administrator mode, otherwise it won't apply to permissions properly. If that still doesn't work, go into the game settings like we just did, and double check that the game has switched over to controller input, as some games will just switch to keyboard by default. I hope this was helpful. Let me know below if you need any help, or if things aren't working out for you, and I'll do my best to help you out.